Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Chuang, if you have never been here, and I am a 53 year old guy that uh, is from Malaysia, and my channel is all about uh, me documenting my life as a 50 something year old, and occasionally sharing some thoughts about uh, stuff that's happening around me, um, which I like to share about. And so today, um, I want to talk about one particular incident I had with a friend of mine recently, which then made me think about possibly sharing this as a thought for the rest of my very, very small audience, okay? And, and that, that particular incident was a, was, a, was a chance encounter with a... Well, I had tea with a friend of mine. And this friend of mine is actually... Um, he's actually a very, very successful professional. But his issue is that he has built a life that has trapped him in his material surroundings. What I mean by that is that uh, because he comes from a very privileged background and he's enjoyed the good things in life all his life and he's, you know, been to boarding school and had a very had a, has a very successful practice in, in, his, in his line of work. And so he's, he's bought this really, really big house with many, many, many rooms. He's got a lot of cars and he's got a few very expensive cars. But that also means he's trapped by the expenses that come along with it. And so he worked seven days a week, every day of the year, every month of the year, even though sometimes he doesn't want to, doesn't want to spend, he wants to spend time with his children, go on holiday, but he can't because he's working all the time. And I said to him, mate, why don't you work less and take some time off and spend some time with the children? But he can't do that because he said to me, mate, I can't because I've got too many expenses and I can't afford to take a day off. And I said to him, well, then why do you live in such a big house? You've got nine bedrooms in your house, but you essentially only live in three, you and your family and, and your mum. And uh, why do you need so many cars? Because you essentially only need one car to get from your house to your office. But he's got like several cars. And he says to me, no, I can't, I can't. You don't understand, I can't. I can't, you don't understand. I've got expenses to pay. But then I said, mate, why don't you do that? And he can't. At his age, and his late 50s now, he, he can't, he can't do it. He can't pull himself away to lead the life that he truly wants them to live because he feels that he's got to have this image of himself as a very wealthy, very successful professional. Which made me think to myself, I mean, when, when we were all young, 20s, 30s, we were all trying to find our way in life. And many times we would do certain things, wear certain things, behave in a certain way to be accepted by the people around us, whether we like whether we like them or not. But the one thing that age gives you is first of all wisdom, second of all perspective, and third of all, I think some kind of immunity to what people think of us anymore. But not everybody has that ability, and I think I've got quite a few friends who are still trapped in a life they don't want to live, behaving in a way that is not really themselves, to portray to the world and to give an image of something that they're actually really not, which to me is a problem. And that's one of the reasons why I, I'd like to talk about this today, because life is short, time is finite, and we don't know how long we're going to be on this earth. Suffice to say, we don't want to be spending the few, last few seconds of our life regretting and saying things to ourselves that we should have done this, we should have done that, we should have traveled more, should have spent time with my children, should have looked after my health a bit more. Because we spend so much of it trying to please others. Now, I can't change the people around me because I mean, I know some of these guys all my life and some of them find it very difficult to change when they're in their 50s and 60s. But I can talk to the people around me, I can talk to my children, I can talk to my children's friends and some of my younger mates and I will tell them I will tell them, it is very, very important to live your true life. Because if you don't, you will live, you will live a life in someone else's image, you will live a life in someone else's shadow, and you will never be happy. And that, I think, is a problem, because life is short, time is finite, and we've got to try and make it count wherever possible. And so my favorite saying, ever since I was a kid, is carpe diem, right? 
Make it counts. Seize the day. Over and out.